Hey, what's up everybody? It's Hubbalubaloo back with another game review and this time it is another world for the Nintendo Switch and I'm really excited to bring you this game because it's been ported on pretty much almost every console and the Nintendo Switch is the most recent one. Don't forget to check out my other Nintendo indie reviews that I have right up here in the card. Now this game was created back in 1991 on the Atari and then reported back into the iOS, the SNES and then the Xbox and PlayStation and now the Switch on 2018. This platformer action adventure game game by Dot Emu, the publisher, was just something I couldn't put down. It was so annoying, so fun, so invigorating. The storyline was awesome, and yet you really didn't know anything about the characters themselves. Like, I'm showing you the starting of the game right now. Get ready for a lot of this. So really quick, I'm going to show you the starting of the game. It is about a guy who is a professor, you play as him, and he gets teleported back in a particle transfusion explosion during a lightning storm and is sent onto another world where you are trapped with another alien who you help befriend and escape. You could also change the difficulty of the game, easy, normal, and hard. You can even change the sound style of the whole game, either it from the original music with all its original sound graphics, its normal music with its new reported music and graphics, or its original music with console CD music. On top of that, you can change from high resolution to low resolution. So I'm just gonna get it right off the bat and starting out what I like about this game. One is the art style of it. The first thing I found out is you can switch into modern graphics or back into the old 8-bit style. Really cool. In every one of these videos I'm going to show, I'm going to keep pressing buttons in my gameplay actually, to show you how different it is every time you switch it. I had so much fun playing through like that. The next part of this video, you're probably wondering how you understand the gameplay of this game. You actually walk around and you have nothing to tell you what you need to do except the four buttons that you learn by yourself. There is no tutorial, there is no beginning. You just learn if you can shoot, put up a shield, you have a bigger blaster shot, and then you can actually duck and shoot, and you can run. There's literally nothing else. If I really could compare this game with anything else, I would probably say the most classic game you could think of is Dragon's Lair, where they didn't tell you what to do, you just kind of had to do it on your own and waste your own time in finding out what the correct path was. And I know I'm biased about this, but another thing I liked about the game is, is it didn't hold your hand every time you wanted to walk through the game. It was more of outside the area of just telling you what to do like most games are nowadays. Okay, enough talking good about about this game. I know you guys want to hear the negatives about it. Man, I wanted to tear my hair out so quickly. I had no idea what I was playing at the beginning. This game really just throws you into the game. You either understand where you're going. The first level is just so confusing. You have to really find out how this gameplay feels. Like you're actually going through a movie where you would think to yourself, okay, if I had to be in this situation, should I shoot, run, duck? like glide, it doesn't matter what you're doing, just try every possibility. And that's the whole part about this game is, you have to retry over and over and over. On top of it being a report, the hitboxes and markers are really hard to understand. At one point you would jump from one area to another if you had to get over a trap, but if you were too close you'd get chewed up really quickly. It was very hard to understand where you could actually jump and where you could go, whether it be swimming or jumping or shooting or building a shield. It it was very confusing on where the actual hitboxes were, so that would be a very big detrimental thing in this game too. Yes, it does become annoying at some times, and yes, you are just like, what the fuck do I do, man? Like, where do I go? What do I shoot? Where do I run? How do I jump over this thing? It is very controversial on what you need to do, but as soon as you get where you need to go, you feel this big sign of relief and you're just like, finally, I can get to this next part. I will say right now that this is gonna be a really challenging game, and for those people who don't like dying a lot, and for those people who don't like going through repetitive processes, this is gonna be a really hard one to get through. But if you love the art style of this and you really wanna find out the storyline and playing through this character, it is a fun game, I really thought. I would say if you are a little bit skeptical of this genre, 
It is a little bit hard to get into. You will get aggravated a lot, trust me, because I did as well. All right, so my final conclusion of this game would have to be an eight out of 10. I really love the art. I really love the style of it. I loved how they ported it new because it came out on the Atari and then came out on the SNES and now on the Switch and the iOS and everything like that. But uh, I really loved the game. It was really challenging. They didn't give you a tutorial, so you really had to learn what you were going through. It is a very, hard to understand game and if you kind of pick up on that it is kind of like a movie game where you pick up on what would you want to do next like if you're escaping you would have to uh, hit the guard over the head with like, like a lampshade or something to help uh, your friend to get to another side. It was very complicated in that sense, but I'd give it a strong 8 out of 10. Alright guys, I'm Hubba Lubba Loo. That was my review for Another World on the Nintendo Switch. If you guys like this video, please check out my other videos right now uh, for the other Nintendo indies that I have reviewed. And don't forget to add me on Twitter at Hubba Lubba Loo. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below for more videos. I'm trying to bring out as many as possible. I hope you guys like the review and I'll see you next time.